What's good YouTube and welcome to the house. We've got like 20 cards that are brand new and I've only read the first one and it is fire, but I'm not sure how much fire. So let's go ahead and get into it. We got Cosmo Brain, perhaps to go with Cosmo Queen. It is a level seven dark uh, spellcaster. Effect monster, for some reason says special summon here, but it's gonna be special summoning stuff. Attack 1500, defense 2450. Cannot be normal summoner set, must first be special summoned from the hand by sending one non-effect monster from your hand or face up from your side of the field to the ground graveyard don't know that you can use tokens from that because it has to go to the graveyard but this does seem pretty good overall uh a lot of decks do take advantage of normal monsters like uh world chalice has access to shine balls i don't know how many decks will actually be putting this in though just for that yeah you don't usually want to draw your vanillas but at least you can make use of them uh then you also have uh you can only use this card's second effect uh once per turn this card gains attack equal to the level of the monster sent to special summon it times 200 so if you're sending something huge like a blue eyes you're gaining 1600 attack putting this at like 3100 you contribute one effect monster you control special summon a normal monster from your hand or deck all right all right so you're trading out things it seems like it has the most energy perhaps with like the blue eyes decks although it is a level seven spellcaster uh you also uh, of course have that natural synergy with the dark magician decks as well i don't know that you want to have to just draw the the normal monsters thinking about it now though like uh it's it's gonna be very niche in a few decks i suppose majin do level three dark fiend flip effect monster attack zero defense big booty 2000 you can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each of this card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard you can special summon this card in face down defense position flip effect you can send one fiend monster from the deck to the graveyard it is conveniently a level three i suppose it could be fitting into be a slow game if it ever got hit but i don't see it perhaps currently being used uh i i suppose if you mill it maybe you can special summon it with dante and have other things mm, i'm not really sure it, it does fit right in level three dark fiend let me know how you would foresee it you think this would be in the standard or if it's too like niche not having a ba name metaphys decoy dragon i love decoy dragon that card used to always be worth money when i pick it out of bulk until it got its reprint a level two light warm pendulum effect monster attack 300 defense 200 pendulum scale one pendulum effect you can only use this card's pendulum effect once per turn when a monster you control is targeted for an attack you can target one metaphys monster you have that is banished or in your graveyard banish the card and if you do special summon that target in attack position pretty good if it didn't rely on being up when getting attacked a little situational but if you do it's pretty good monster effect you can use this card's first and second monster effects once per turn each one a monster you control is targeted for an attack you can target one of your metaphys monsters that is banished during your graveyard banish this card from the field and if you do special summon that target and attack that that seems familiar two if this card is banished during the same phase of the next turn you can special summon this banished card so it like recurs it's trying to be recurring attack protection you're gonna get utopia kid that's that's the sum the summary of that card to me uh we've got goki uh, another goki twopalatan the 4k media goki double team earth warrior effect level 5 1700 slash zero if this card is sent to the graveyard as a link material for a goki link monster you can activate this effect that monster gains a thousand attack till the end of this turn during your main phase except during the turn this card was sent to the graveyard you can banish this card from your graveyard then target a goki spell in your graveyard shuffle it into the deck that's not that good that's not really resource game that's not really what gokis do double team i thought it would have maybe summoned or done something nah fam that that thousand attacks not a double team all right we got a uh brand new uh monster it's high cupid well all these are brand new uh, level one light fairy effect monster i'm just choking my disappointment of the goki boys attack 600 defense 600 you can use this card's first and second effects once per turn each you can send up to three cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard this turn increase this card's level by the number of cards sent uh, 
chancing it. That's kind of weird. If this card is destroyed by your opponent's card and sent to the graveyard, gain 1,500 life points. So, by battle or card effect, I assume. Um, it's cute that you get to mill on demand. It's a level 1 light. It's not a tuna. It's it's cute. What applications do you guys see for it? I'm, I'm not off the top seeing anything besides another consistent milling card on summon. Um... Not not my cup of tea. Psycho Ace. Level 2 Dark Psychic Effect Monster. So that is a teleport target off uh, the top of my head. If this card is tributed in the monster zone, you can target a card on the field. Destroy it. Cute, but not that great. It's, it's cute. Targeting destruction. At least it's any card not restricted to monsters. Ooh, Link Monsters. Mech Knight Morningstar. A Mech Knight Link Monster. That's exciting. Link to Light Machine uh, Link Effect Monster. Attack 2000. Bottom left, bottom right. Great arrows. Materials two monsters, including a Mech Knight Monster. So locked into the archetype. You can only use this card's name first effect once per turn. If this card is Link Summoned, you can discard a Mech Knight Monster or one World Legacy card. Add a World Legacy card from your deck to your hand. Cute, cute. When this card in the monster... Uh, while this card is in the monster zone mech knight monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle with monsters in a different column from them and you take no battle damage from those battles so like it, it makes them have to line up with them weird that it specifies in the monster zone extra monster zones considered monster zone is it I, I don't think it is this is weird it's it's definitely a very weird effect the first effect uh you have to one for one and have a specific uh mech knight monster or world legacy to get any world legacy eh it's it's not as exciting as a concept of i as i would have first thought but it is cute riplodocus oh on, on a second note actually it's kind of cool that uh, it's a, another a shorter way to get uh mech knights in the graveyard and keep a mech knight name i suppose all right Riplodocus, a link to earth dinosaur link effect monster attack 800 materials any two monsters apparently generic Ooh, uh links top and bottom uh generic is surprising you can only use this card's names effect once per turn you can activate one of these effects declare monster type face up monsters this card points to become the declared type until the end of this turn declare one monster attribute face up monsters this points to become declared attribute until the end of the term cute that it's generic definitely gonna see some shenanigans with this i don't think that's game breaking or anything but uh also having a generic downward pointing to is kind of cute you want to make anything easier than uh what we already have when you're going for that zero extra link continuous spell card activate this card by targeting one link monster you control that is co-linked with a link monster in the extra monster zone the target gains 800 attack for each link monster on the field Hmm. If this, if the target is used as a link material for a link monster's link summon, that link monster gains attack equal to the attack gain of this card's first effect till the end of this turn. At the end of damage calculation, in which this that target attack destroy this card. A little cheesy. It's united we standish. It's it's cute. Ooh, I like the look of this. We've got Shield Handler, a normal trap card. When card or effect, when a card or effect that would destroy a monster on the field is activated, target one Link monster on each side of the field. And negate the effects of the target monster your opponent controls. And if you do, equip this card to the target monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. Very situational. You need them both to have Link monsters. You need to have not field wiped. It's a trap card. Uh, the art overexcited me reverse of the world a quick play with quite the name you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn which will summon one rune queen uh oh of oblivion or demise king of armageddon from your hand or deck by tributing ritual monsters from your hand whose combined levels equal or exceed the monster you ritual summon cute that you're doing stuff for potentially on their turn another summoning card but uh, locking it to tributing ritual monsters from the hand a little rough mayhaps uh it's still pretty good i i like it it's cute now this is i i saw the art i have not read this i'm excited for it it looks kind of like endymion it's a continuous spell magic lab each time a face up mythical beast pendulum monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect place two spell counters on this so indeed we are getting more spell counter support thanks ots7 
Once per turn, you can remove any number of spell counters from your field, add one monster from your hand that you can place a spell counter on whose level is the same as the number of spell counters you removed from your deck, or that is a pendulum monster face up in your extra deck. Cute, cute. I'm seeing what they're doing there. Giving a resource game to this spell, but it takes setup. If this card on the field would be destroyed by card effect, you can remove a spell counter from this card instead. It's cool that it's once per turn, not hard once per turn on the second effect, uh, so that you can play multiples of this card and have it matter. It's it's cute because they can destroy the mythical beast can destroy them by on their own, so you can get to four relatively easy. I like this card. That was a good one. Magazine drug uh, <laughs> drum gone uh, 4K media vorticolor drug mon. <laughs> drug mon link three dark dragon link effect monster attack 1000 for three links left uh right and bottom uh so side to side and downwards three dark dragon monsters specifically you can only use this card's first effect once per turn if this card is special summon you can draw a card nice during the turn you applied the card's first effect unused monster zones this card points to cannot be used eh kind of kind of could take it all right, we got Seer's Passbook. This looks cool. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Banish the top three cards of your deck face down. During your third standby phase after activating this card, add the three banished cards by this effect to your hand. We stolen, boys. Once per turn, banish three. Try to protect their face down. Boost your eater of millions. Uh, this is pretty cheesy. Draw. You basically are drawing three cards if you last three turns. Weird. It's this. This is funny. It's cool. I don't know how to feel about this one, boys. This is cute. It, it is cute. It's trying to see how far we can push the draw thing for massive, massive wait time like i can see decks abusing this uh minko is not a problem but like battle fader swift scarecrow this is cute it's cute dealer's choice a normal trap card both players shuffle their decks and if they do they each draw a card then each player discards a card nice this is uh actually decent dark world support uh i like this this is cute uh it's it's not bad both these cards not bad not broken but definitely not bad all right, let's see here. Um, not really sure what's going on in this picture. We got a little guy trapped down here. It looks like that guy from the uh, PSV card where he's coming out of the grave. All right, all right. Uh, can can this bird help him? Sorry for spoilers, boys. Target one monster in either graveyard during your next standby phase. Special summon that monster from the graveyard to your field. A slow... Sh it's shallow grave, right? Slow shallow grave? Only for you? That's, it's cute, but it's not that good. We need immediate results, especially with Monster Reborn running around. Crossbreed. Normal spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Banish two monsters face up from your field or from your hand, whose original type and attribute are the same, but with different names. Add one monster from your deck to your hand, whose original type and attribute are the same as those monsters, but with a different name from either of them. You're paying off three cards for one. It better be a really good monster. What? What? It, is there something super degenerate that needs this kind of a cost let me know it doesn't like summon it to the field ignoring its conditions or something crazy let me know uh this card cute it, it's really like wait time uh on these two cards it's kind of cute seeing seeing how powerful cards can be with a weight uh and it then become irrelevant or relevant because of it i can see where they're testing it world legacy survival normal spell card you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Excavate the top five cards of your deck. Add one excavated crawler monster or world legacy card from your hand. Also send the other cards to the graveyard. Hmm. A crawler support that reaches pretty far. If there were no excavated crawler monsters or world legacy cards. Oh, also world legacy. That's cute. Okay. Uh, shuffle all the excavated cards into the deck. You cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck for the rest of the turn except link monsters. Okay. Okay that's that's not terrible not terrible that's what those decks want to do 
Obla Mirage, the Elemental Lord. Ooh, an Elemental Lord, right? That that matters. That name matters. Level 8 Dark Fiend. Special Summon Effect Monster. Level 8, 2800, 2200. Cannot be normal summoner. Set must be special summoned from your hand by having exactly five Dark Monsters in your graveyard. You can only use this card's name's first effect once per turn. If this card is special summoned, add one monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. Not bad. If this face of card leaves the field, skip the battle phase of the next turn. So, obviously, underwhelming compared to cards like Mulan Glacia, but they already know they've given so much support to them that they kind of had to do that, right? They had to kind of keep it in check. All right, we've got Zer... Zerdras, the Magic Crystal Dragon, a level 6 dragon effect monster, attack 2200, defense 1200. You can only use this card's name's effect once per turn. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, if a spell or trap card you control, leave the field by an opponent's card and is sent to the graveyard or banished, you can special summon this card. Then you can set a spell or trap card to your field from your banished cards or graveyard. If this card was special summoned this way, banish it if it leaves the field. That is actually insane. This card plays really well to the kind of continuous trap uh, the kind of thing. And it, it counters. Finally, they recognize Cosmic Cyclone and actually give a hard counter to it and a level 6 decently buff monster. This is actually pretty darn good. I like this. I like this a lot. Ooh, we got a frog to finish us out. Uh, we got... Nagaru. Uh, Garu Garu is the kind of sound frogs make in Japan. Double cross frog. Level 2 water aqua effect monster. Attack 100, defense 2000. Or I should say in anime, not in Japan, right, boys? Uh, cannot be used for a fusion, synchro, Xyz, or leak summon? Is that all of the extra deck mechanics? Well, see you when you're good, uh, when the next extra deck mechanic comes out. I guess you can bend summon him. Uh, if this card is normal or flip summon, changes to defense position once per turn. If this card is in, is in face up defense position, you can target a monster your opponent controls in a main monster zone. Switch control of this card in the, <laughs> to your opponent in a monster zone next to the targeted monster. Then, if your opponent has exactly two double cross frogs and main monster zones, take control of all monsters your opponent controls in zones between them. What a cheesy, cheeky card! Nice! That is cute. So, out of all these. This is actually maybe what I'm most excited for. This is really cool. I, I see the stun strategies. I mean, it's not healthy for the game, actually, in my opinion. But it's cool that they recognize the banishing aspect of Cosmic Cyclone. And then you're able to set it. I guess you can't activate it the same turn, which is what it thinks. Uh, it, it's it's kind of cool. I, I, I dig it. I definitely dig this. And uh, we got a new Elemental Lord. We, we got a few exciting things in here. A draw three, but it takes three turns. Oh man, this is this is funny. Thanks for watching. If you stuck this far, I'll link this article down below if you want to go read through these yourself again if you missed something. But I appreciate you guys who uh, stayed this long. Hashtag woke squad, guys.